Pinterest stock has gone from roughly $89 to $25 in the past 52 weeks. And Robert Frank joins us now with a pretty interesting and unique look at the insiders who've bailed on the stock. And it is complicated, to say the least, Robert. A little complicated and some very large numbers, Andrew. Printer shares, as you mentioned, down 65 percent over the past year, down another 9 percent yesterday in advance of those earnings today. But the CEO and insiders have cashed out more than $700 million in stock back when it was trading a lot higher. And look at CEO Ben Silverman. He sold $100 million in shares last year, $240 million in 2020. He sold at prices ranging from under 20 bucks to over $86 a share. Almost all those sales were part of a pre-scheduled stock selling program and some were sold to pay taxes on options exercises. He still owns about 8% of his company and his net worth, which is once as high as $4 billion, now down to about $1.5 billion. Then you have other executives also selling the chief financial officer, the chief legal officer, other co-founders, cashing out $246 million in shares last year and just under $500 million in 2020. And if you look at this year, the selling has continued. The CFO selling $2 million worth in January. The co-founder, Evan Sharp, selling $3.5 million also in January. The company did not respond for my request for comment. Meanwhile, you guys, we've been talking a lot about Facebook this morning. Taking a look at Mark Zuckerberg, he has consistently been one of the top sellers of stock over the past two years. He sold $4.6 billion last year. And in total, over the years, he sold over 17 billion, most of that for his philanthropy. So, Andrew, a good reason to sell for Mark Zuckerberg, but still a lot of selling. You take all of this as a, a high sign for the investor class? I mean, the, the question about insider selling has always been, is this a sign that investors shouldn't be invested in these companies? Or is this really just a diversification effort, right? Well, we'll have to see what the market does this year. But historically, insider selling, especially at the levels we saw last year, $170 billion, that was more than twice the 10-year average. When you see it that high, historically, insiders have been very smart sellers selling at or near the high. So we'll have to see. But right now, they certainly look smart selling last year.